right, this is video three, I think, maybe four, I'm not sure, on this 2018 Nissan Rogue with YF refrigerant, 500 grams. And if you've seen in the other videos, in the last video where I recovered the refrigerant out, is that 420 grams? Yes, I recovered 420 grams of YF refrigerant out of this five gram system. System was blowing nice and cold. Tons of water was coming out with 420 grams. We're overcast, it's a cool day. Um, but I said, look at the superheat and the subcooling and don't look at the pressures. Don't pay attention to the pressures. Totally keep the pressures out of your vocabulary. And if we seen before when this system was running with 420 grams, now it has 500 grams, we were dabbling between superheat. Now this is a expansion valve system. This has an expansion valve on it. Right back there, you can see it by my clamp up on the firewall. This is an expansion valve system. And our superheat was going between 17 and 25, I believe it was, in the first video. And we had it on the, uh, scanning it out here. Okay, right now I'm looking at pressure so let's look at superheat subcooling now look at the superheat and subcooling we're we're not doing those big swings anymore before we were doing big swings nine eight nine point eight ten nine nine point seven ten all right there that is our subcooling no superheat that's our superheat now let's go to our subcooling. Okay, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. And before our superheat was going, God damn it, our subcooling was going between 17 and 27, 17 and 27, 17 and 27, constantly. Our pressures just changed a little bit actually by adding more refrigerant our high side pressure went down. We added more refrigerant and our high side pressure went down. We added more refrigerant and our low side pressure went down. We added, this is a expansion valve system now. Guys who are in residential and refrigeration will go, the more refrigerant you stack up in the condenser, the more you put in there, the higher your subcooling goes. But in this case, we put more refrigerant in the system and the subcooling went down. Do you see the difference? That's it. That's all I gotta say. Uh, everything went opposite of what normally happens. More refrigerant, high side and low side went down. More refrigerant, subcooling went down. Superheat has basically averaged out between where in the previous videos, I think two videos ago, it was going, it was ranging between 17 and 20 something higher, and it was going back and forth. Now it's pretty damn steady, right there. Superheat, subcooling, even though the manufacturer doesn't give you specs, when you start learning the each and individual car, it's really different, because you've seen me do cars where it's around zero superheat. And you've seen me do cars where it's around 35 subcooling, 40 subcooling is normal on some cars. So this is the problem. There is no rule of thumb. There is no average. Only for the year, make, model, and system that they have on the vehicle. And ambient conditions will change that a lot. All right, guys. I will see you later. And this is why you have to get away from thinking about pressures. And you have to teach yourself superheat and subcooling. And you have to teach yourself per year make model vehicle what it is because you got to learn those averages because the manufacturers don't give you that information. It is a diagnostic tool and that's all I'm going to say right now. Keep it short. See you guys.